Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 is an amazing laptop. However, it does have one Achilles heel, and that's the touchpad. So I don't know about you, but I have a lot of issues with this touchpad. First of all, it's too big. So I end up getting a lot of accidental touches around the exterior perimeter of the touchpad. I also notice that the sensitivity isn't quite what I'd like it to be in the middle section. And I also encounter a lot of accidental touches. I notice the palm rejection on this touchpad in particular is not so great. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at a couple tips to help you get the most out of this touchpad. One of them is pretty minor, and then one is a pretty major update that involves a registry but it will help you out, especially when it comes to accidental touches, palm rejection. So let's go ahead and get started with the first tip. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to your start menu and you're gonna to wanna to start typing touchpad. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on touchpad settings. I already have the settings applet open, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. And the first adjustment that I would recommend making is if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this tap section. And to get a little bit better sensitivity out of the middle of the touchpad, bump this medium sensitivity up to high sensitivity. All right, so that's the first tip. This is a basic tip, but now we're gonna move on to some more advanced stuff to help uh, refine the edges of the touchpad so we don't get so many accidental touches. So what I've done is I've linked two articles down in the description. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at them now so I can explain this stuff to you. All right, so this first article is from Microsoft and this details some settings that we can adjust for our precision touchpad. So basically showing us how to tune our touchpad for our particular machine. So if you're not familiar with the registry, you may not want to embark on this, but if you're familiar with, you know, RegEdit, RegEdit 32, HKey Local Machine, if that's all old stuff to you and you're familiar, go ahead and proceed. And what we're looking for as we go down here is a discussion about curtains and super curtains. So what curtains and super curtains are, are designated areas on your touchpad that have less sensitivity. So a curtain has less sensitivity than the regular touchpad area. So this middle part right here. So your curtain's gonna be the exterior of that. And then your super curtain is going to be the outer parameter of your touchpad that you don't really want any touch input to occur at. Um, so this helps us out a lot with palm rejection. So if we scroll down here a little bit further, all right, we go down just a little bit more. Here's the details on super curtains. So you can see here this pink area this is our super curtain area. Now by default on these Galaxy books, there's hardly any applied. And as you'll see here in the registry, there's actually no default value supplied for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple values here to give us a super curtain on our touchpad. And this is gonna help tremendously with palm rejection and accidental clicks. Cause look at this trackpad here, it is massive. It is huge. So what we're really doing here by adjusting the super curtain size is we're basically shrinking the usable area of this touchpad, which is exactly what we wanna do on a touchpad this size. Here's how we're gonna do that. We have another article here that I'm gonna put up on the screen. Uh, a gentleman has shared some of his settings that he's already applied to his Galaxy Book and they work out well for him. So you see here on the screen, we have some registry values. I know it looks a little intimidating if you're not used to this, but for those of you familiar with the registry, this should look very straightforward. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the registry and you do that by going to your start menu. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just start typing the word reg. And there you go, registry editor. All right, so I already have the registry editor open and here's where you wanna to navigate to. HKey local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, precision touchpad. So you're gonna get all the way over here in this tree structure, click on precision touchpad and here's gonna be all our values on the right. Now, if you look here closely and we switch back to the other uh, article that we have, let me do that real quick. You'll notice that this user has some values in here for curtain left, curtain top, curtain right. And if we go back to the registry, you'll notice those values are not here. All right, so only the defaults are being used by our Book 3 Pro 360 and also on the Book 3 Ultra, same settings for both. So all we're gonna do here is first off is we're gonna take a backup of these settings. So you never wanna mess with your registry without taking a backup. So on the left side where we have precision touchpad, go ahead and right click on that. Well, we'll just call it a folder. It's really the key section, but we'll call it the folder. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and export these settings. So go ahead and click export. 
and it's going to prompt you for a location to save them, you can go ahead and save them for your desktop for now. And um, that'll be a backup of these settings in case you get into any trouble. And the other thing too to keep in mind is before you proceed with this, it's a really good idea to have a USB-C mouse handy just in case you cause any problems with setting up these values and you don't have use of your touchpad after a reboot. So do make sure you have a USB-C mouse. That'll get you out of any sticky jams. And do make sure you do that backup. That'll also get you out of any sticky jams. And what I also like to do as well, whenever I'm messing with the registry and I'm gonna update some values, take a screenshot. Just take a quick screenshot because it tells you everything you need to know here, the name, type, and the data values, right? So we have everything we need. All right, so we're gonna go back to the other article, all right? And we're gonna copy the name, curtain top, okay, control C. We're gonna go back to the registry. All right, so now we're back to the registry. We wanna right click, we're gonna click new, and we're gonna click on D Word 32 bit value, all right? And uh, we're gonna right click on it. We're gonna click rename. And then remember that value we just copied from the other article? We're gonna go ahead and paste that. There's the name, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and go back to that article and check out the value. So the value for curtain top is D word 14. So we need a value of 14. So let's go back to the registry. We're gonna right click on curtain top. We're gonna to hit modify, all right? So what we wanna change this to is a decimal value. And we're gonna switch this over to 32. Let's do that real quick. Click OK. And we're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the other values. So we go over here and we have curtain left. We'll go back to the registry and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these in here real quick. All right, so what you can see here is we have the three keys added with values of 14, 32, and zero. And if we go back to our article, you'll see that's what we have here, 14, 32, and zero. So now what you would do at this point is you would go ahead and exit out of the registry and you would restart your laptop and just get a feel for the exterior edges and maybe play around with these uh, numbers a little bit. So as you raise these numbers for curtain top and curtain left, it's going to increase the, the area in which there's like a dead band. That's what you can kind of think of it. It's like a dead area on your uh, touchpad. So this makes it to where you have a less big touchpad to use and you're not gonna have nearly as many problems with palm rejection when you set it up this way. And before we wrap up this video, I will say we used to have this functionality in third-party applications like touchpad blocker, but unfortunately that is not compatible with the Samsung Galaxy Book, so don't mess with that. You wanna do the registry edit thing because basically it's doing the same thing that that app's trying to do. So you don't wanna mess with this. What you wanna do is mess with the registry settings because that's what's gonna give you the proper updates for these Galaxy Books. So uh, if you're a new user, I don't know if it's something you want to partake in, but if you do go down the road of messing with your registry, please do take that back up, like I mentioned, and grab a screenshot so you can revert back to your default values. All right, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I always do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.